Hi, I'm Kerry Grinkmeyer, host of Best of Us Investors. This is Thursday, and uh, if you're attuned to the market, you know that uh, last night when uh, Facebook did its quarterly earnings for for fourth quarter, the market didn't like it. And for the most part, I think what the market didn't like was the projections for the future um, and some issues that they've had relative to Facebook or relative to Apple. And the stock is down some 24% today. I'll start the video by saying I'm buying. I've got an order in at $243 a share, and I'm pretty confident that it will, it will be filled. Uh, what I wanted to do, though, was take an opportunity to share with you how my mind works and what I use to inform myself of what's going on and try to get a better understanding of what is going on and how I should react. Now, as a result of that, uh, I basically go to my toolbox. I've referred to that uh, a bit in over the last couple of uh, weeks. And in that toolbox, I have a charting um, uh, portal or website that I go to. Uh, I use Seeking Alpha uh, because they do an excellent job of of uh, giving me the uh, opportunity to listen to the call from the evening, to uh, look at the uh, filings that were made, and then also to to go to different authors uh, or, or article writers that I feel confident with, that I've built some sort of following on, and allow them to share with me their insights and their breakdown of the numbers. And that gives me a better feeling as to what I should do and how I should react. And rather than just make a emotional reaction. So in this video, I want to share the toolbox that I used uh, this morning to help me make a decision. Do I want to buy? Do I want to sell? Or do I want to hold? Now, in all fairness, if the, you're new to this channel, you need to know that there are six stocks that I will not sell. Um, and Facebook happens to be with one of them. Now, I want to also protect my butt and tell you this is not financial advice, and I want to put that in writing, and then I'll be right back, and we'll talk about how I came to the conclusion that I want to buy Facebook today. Best of Us Investors presents Kerry Griegmeier. Okay, as I said, I believe that Facebook is one of my big six that I will not sell. And, and it, it goes back to, uh, I do a lot of reading and try to come to an understanding of what's going on in the stock market. And I, I basically came up with the terminology big six. I copied it from Amy Webb who wrote a book back, I, I guess it was probably in 2018, called The Big Nine. And she called The Big Nine IBM, Alibaba, Microsoft, Tencent, Apple, Baidu, Facebook, Amazon, and Google. Now, I don't particularly want to invest in anything in China because I don't know what's going on in China any more than I know what's going on in Russia right now. So I've eliminated the three stocks that she felt were the big data stocks. And that's what she really talks about, how they own the data and then how they're going to use artificial intelligence to leverage that data into the gold uh, or the oil of, of this decade. Uh, so... Then the one that I also gave up on is IBM. Uh, IBM, I believe, is a company of the future, but it's not a company of my future. I don't even know who the CEO of IBM is. They've lost their identity. They made their big mistake when they didn't buy what Bill, Ga what, uh, Bill Gates was selling back in 1997, um, and, and they would be 
uh, probably IBM slash Microsoft today if they had. But so that's that's my background on Facebook. Um, I, I just feel they have they are the social media giant. They have small people who are pecking away at them. But Mark has shown a a a, a, a very strong adaptability to the market he finds himself in. I also must say, before I look at my um, my toolbox, uh, I, I just believe the metaverse is going to be a part of the future. I'm on Twitter quite a bit now, and I just put up a tweet last night. Um, actually, it was before I knew what happened with Facebook, and I showed a picture of what I remember the television set that came into our house in February of 1952 when I was a young boy, and it was a black and white television. And I reflected that that happened. My dad brought that home in February of um, of 52. What is what is it going to look? And that's you know what um, 70 years ago. What is it going to look like in February? of um, 2092. That would be the same time span. And and is the metaverse going to be a part of it? I believe it is if it hasn't been replaced by something else. And that I think is is the the real learning here is that our world is changing and you need to attach yourself to the people who are going to be a part of that change. And I believe Facebook is one of them. And now I want to take you to my computer where I keep my toolbox and show you how my mindset went through this. Okay, what I said I wanted to do was go to my toolbox and show you how I uh, use my tools to help me make good investment decisions. And the first one I always go to is my tradingviews.com. And it's a charting um, uh, website that gives me the ability to put things into perspective. And, and the first thing I did was uh, this morning was come to Trading Views and look at my chart for Facebook. And I can see here it's down 24%. And kind of what threw me is I came and I looked at it and I said, wow, it's showing it at $328. And I, I said, I know that's not right. Right there it says it's 243. And I didn't see this little red line down here. And that's it. That's it now. And as you can see, it has gotten down as low as about 237 today. Um, and um, so I looked at it and said, okay, uh, how is that relevant to any other downturns that it's had? And with, with, um, trading views, I'm able to go over here to this, this little, uh, prediction and measurement tool, and I'm able to put a dot here and, um, that, that shows it's high at about September the 10th, 21, and then I put another dot down here, and that shows it's low at about 236. And that tells me that since uh, September, what was that, uh, the 21st to today, it has lost 37.89% uh, of its value. And then I said, okay, let's put that into perspective as to how that has happened before. Well, it had a drop here. Uh, back in uh, from August the um, uh, 27th to September the 21st in 2020, it had a drop of about 20.36%. Uh, and then back here in, that would be uh, January 20th of 20, it, and, and this would be uh, the coronavirus, it dropped 38%. In so what it, what happened last night actually and well if if we put that into perspective this is actually a drop facilitated by uh some problems that they're issues they're having with apple 
uh, with the general drop in the um, NASDAQ market as we're going into inflation and we're going into higher risk interest rates and a broken supply chain. So I guess if you really wanted to put it into a daily perspective, um, it's dropped about 27%. But I like the, the flexibility of what trading views gives me. And as I call it, it's my psychologist or psychiatrist. It's where I lay down on the sofa and I say, I'm scared. Um, and okay, let's put it into perspective. So that, that's the first place I go. And I would encourage you. In fact, I have, I have a contact at Trading Views and ask them, could I get a discount for my, my uh, viewers? And there is an affiliate link in the description that will give you a discount. Uh, and they have multiple levels that you can get involved in. The next place I go that is, I think, um, a very key element because I need, I need other people's opinions. You know, when you see something like a 36% drop in a stock, that, that, that inflicts fear. So I need to talk to people. Well, I, can, I talk to the people on my Discord, but I, I want to also talk to people who, who make a profession out of doing this. And I can get to them through Seeking Alpha. And this is Seeking Alpha's page uh, up on, um, on, on Facebook. And I don't want to take you into depth. I want to show you where I go and how I make what I feel are good investment decisions. And what you see here is they're showing me a chart that's showing that uh, year to date, it's up uh, 29%, but um, <laughs> it, it lost, or 20%, it lost most of that today. Uh, so this gives me a, uh, a view of, of um, and, and then I think from there it shows me the ratings. And these aren't going to be day, uh, exactly today's, but this is. Over here, I have a young gentleman who has written an article today. He posted it at uh, 8.54 a.m. It's already got 67 comments on it. And we'll look at that and kind of just breeze through it and get an idea. Uh, here's another one uh, that came out today at 8.27 by a second uh, individual. So I this is a firm, a JR Research. So I have here some opinions that I can lean on. I also then have access to uh, the, the uh, Metaverse call that Mark Zuckerberg, and if this is a recording of it, that's what that icon there represents, or emoji, I guess it is. And, and then I have, uh, in, in amongst these, multiple comments. This is, again, something that came out yesterday based on the call, so I can get more information there. But where I want to go is I went to this uh, article, and it's written by, uh, and I can go and click on there, and I can learn about this young man who is very proud that he got his CFA uh, being a retired financial advisor, I know that is a chartered financial analyst. This is a guy who, who has taken tests um, provided by the um, NASD and that, that he proves that he understands the numbers, the figures. He's a chartered financial an analyst. So that, and, and he's a level one. They have various levels. So here I can see that he's re written 85 articles um, and that uh, he has, uh, he's done one blog post. So I can see, and then I can see what he's written articles about. Um, what I wanna do is go back and look at the article that he wrote just uh, posted at 8.54 uh, this morning. And he gives me a summary of it. He gives me then some very good information that it slumped 22% in the morning. And then he starts breaking down um, 
that even though he, they only missed their earnings by 5%, yet it resulted in a 24% drop. So what does that mean? Well, I think what, what I think, it, 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 it creates fear. What I think you also need to recognize is how the, what's the ownership of uh, um, Facebook stock. And I'm going to go again to uh, Seeking Alpha, and I can come down here, and I can see that institutions own 67% of this stock, um, and individuals 15, and other public that's insiders, other public, 16.9 uh, percent. So what that tells me, that 67% of this stock, that's owned by mutual funds and uh, ETFs and people who, who, who react to fear, who will go to their ETF and say, uh, I want out of this, or uh, institutions who are who are subject to heavy redemptions created by panicking people and what what that does is create a overreaction um, so that uh, that gives uh, look at this I as it just as I moved from there we have two more articles that sh have shown up on meta um, that I can now touch into. I've already made my decision. I've already bought more of it. But again, I want to go back to this article because that's the one I read that I reacted to. And it goes into very good detail as to what exactly happened relative to the numbers. Uh, their revenue was up. Uh, their cost of revenue was also up, which gave them a decrease in their income, and a part of the cost of their revenue is their investment in people for the future, and that is of the metaverse. So they're being punished by that. Um, their net income, actually, it let's see, uh, their operating margins, again, because they're investing in their future, went down from 46% to 37%. So in, in raw numbers, this can justify something of a drop in price, a 24% drop in price? I don't think so. I don't think so. And that's what this article uh, basically gives me some additional support. Uh, here it gives you its, its ratios, which basically say, relatively speaking, to other tech stocks, um, Meta is a cheap stock. Uh, risks and challenge. We talk a little bit about uh, the metaverse and how it's growing and how they're going to be spending money, uh, $10 billion in 2022. So it, it brings me back to earth to say, um, I'm not really concerned about it. In fact, this is, I wouldn't call it a dip. Uh, yeah, I would call it a crash of, of uh, Facebook stock that gives me an opportunity to buy into it. So what's the long and short of this? If all you have is a ticker symbol and a, a report on your brokerage account of what Facebook did in the last 24 hours, you got to sell it. You got to sell it because it's crashing. But if you have a toolbox that you can go to and say, yeah, but uh, this is what other people, and this is insightful information that gives me an advantage. Because what I know is the people who are selling this right now have read none of this. They've just panicked because they've had a bad month uh, and now they've had a worse day. And so they've panicked. Okay, is it buy, is it sell, or is it hold? At worst, it's hold. <laughs> For me, it's buy. Let's talk a little bit more about how I want to make this channel 
your first, uh, your the first tool you reach into, into your toolbox when it comes to anything related to investing. Let's talk about that. Okay, so I'm the proud owner of somewhere around 330 uh, shares of Facebook now, and that represents about $80,000. Uh, my portfolio, is that represents roughly, at today's prices, uh, about 10% of my portfolio. So I'm comfortable with Facebook. And, and I think it's when I say I'm comfortable with Facebook, I also uh, invest in people. Um, I believe that Elon Musk is a genius. I don't own Tesla because I think he is, he is too tied to China, and I'm just not comfortable with China anymore. Than, as I said, I'm comfortable with, with Russia right now. So I, I, I just feel the, there's a risk there that I don't want to take, and I'm willing to give up the reward that I think you Tesla holders will potentially gain, but I don't want the risk. Leave it at that. Um, but Facebook, uh, they have more eyeballs than anybody else. And I recognize they're spending a lot of money on the new technology. And if someone came and looked at my company, my um, YouTube company, you would find I'm spending a lot of money on where I think I can take this into the future. You're going to see I'm paying other presenters because I think YouTube is going to replace television or whatever grows out of YouTube. We, we are getting away from, okay, I'll take a look at whatever you have to offer me to I'll go where I want to go and I'll watch what I want to watch and I'll educate myself rather than just ent entertain myself. And if my mindset is that way, I'm not on television. Oh, I watched an excellent program uh, last night on, uh, I guess it was Netflix, but when I want to learn something, when I want to improve myself, I don't go to TV. I don't go to a movie theater. I go to the internet, and the internet is going to video. So I'm investing in my business, and I'm going to invest a lot of money into it so that I'm uh, the next era of YouTube. You're going to see more than one presenter on Best of Us Investors. You're going to see more than one book um, talked about. You're going to see um, what I think is the next generation of YouTube here at Best of Us Investors. And if you want to learn more about that, join our tribe. Uh, that's our Discord. Just go down to the 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 link here, Best of Us Investors. Give me your name and your email address. And I'd invite you to join this team. Um, I want to, if you have an ambition to, to get involved in YouTube and you don't have the knowledge and the experience, let me help you. Uh, I'm 77 years old. Hell, if I can learn this, I'm sure you can. Talk to you again tomorrow. <laughs>